Hey guys, I'm your host Albert Vartanian and this is Parlay Today. In week two of the NFL schedule, the U.S. Capitol will play host to Thursday's showcase matchup between the Washington football team and the New York Giants. And after both teams lost their opening matches last week, here's Ashley Docking with her picks for the NFC East matchup. A little while ago, Miss Tina Turner reminded us that we like things nice and easy sometimes. And I don't know about you, but I could certainly go for some precedented times these days. However, Thursday night football between the Giants and the Washington football team seems like it's shaping up to be a slog. Both New York and Washington hang their hats on the defensive side of the ball. Washington in particular was the stingiest team in the past game last season, allowing just 212 passing yards on average and 1.3 touchdowns per game. So Daniel Jones, who hit the over just 25% of the time last season, is kind of in a bind here. On the other side of the ball, the Washington football team has lost the NFL's collective baby daddy in Ryan Fitzpatrick. Therefore, Taylor Heineke, who is unproven, gets the call. Save yourself the stress, the grief, likely the collective disappointment, and take the under on 42 and a half total points before it's hammered and the line shifts. The Blue Jays are on a winning streak with Robbie Ray and will be looking to extend that run this evening against Tampa. Here's Michael Singh with his picks for tonight's game. The Toronto Blue Jays haven't dropped two games in a row since August 26, and expect them to keep that streak alive on Wednesday in a rubber match with the Tampa Bay Rays. Toronto will try and wrap up this three game set with Tampa with a win by sending ace and Cy Young candidate Robbie Ray to the mound. He leads the American League with a 2.70 ERA and ranks second in strikeouts with 220. And after an uncharacteristic outing against the Baltimore Orioles last time out, expect Robbie Ray to bounce back in a big way. Tampa managed to shut out the Jays for the first time in almost two months last night, but with a 5.32 ERA over their last 10 games, plus starting pitcher tonight Michael Walker sporting a 5.37 ERA of his own, I'd honestly be surprised if they managed to do so again. So here are my picks. Take Robbie Ray to record more than 7.5 strikeouts at minus 120, take Robbie Ray to record the win at plus 120, and take Bo Bichette to score at least one run at plus 100. The Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh Pirates face off tonight, still very much in the hunt for the playoffs. Can the Reds, though, bounce back after yesterday's unexpected loss against Pittsburgh? Here's Tasla to hear with her picks for tonight's game. Last night, the Cincinnati Reds learned the hard way that no game is a gimme. And tonight, they'll have to rebound to keep pace in an airtight fight for the National League wild card. Joey Votto and Cincinnati are in a dogfight for a spot in the postseason. Last night, the Reds blew it. They spotted the last place Pirates a 6-0 lead by the fifth and couldn't complete a comeback, dropping the game 6-5. But the offense wasn't the problem for the Reds. They had a late game homer from Nick Castellanos and Tucker Barnhart had two RBIs. Dylan Peters continued his solid season, allowing no runs over his five innings of work to secure the Pirates' win. It's safe to say the season may rely on the Reds beating Pittsburgh this week, much like it did in 2013 when the Pirates beat Cincinnati in the NL wildcard game. But it would be a surprise to see the Reds drop two in a row to Pittsburgh and their 53-91 record. Cincinnati is a safe bet tonight as they look to qualify for their second playoff in as many years. Here are my picks. Take Cincinnati for the win, minus 155. And finally, with the NBA preseason getting underway October 3rd, Noor Zainab has been sharing some of her future picks on her Twitter account, including this candidate who could be Rookie of the Year. It's time for another edition of NBA Future Picks with moi, and let's tackle NBA Defensive Player of the Year. And my super early prediction for Defensive Player of the Year is Giannis. The 2019-2020 Depoy is also part of the number one defensive team who are your current NBA champions. Last year, Giannis had the fifth best defensive rating and the sixth best defensive win share while he was injured in the finals. Though some might be inclined to pick Ben Simmons or Rudy, the Simmons and Philly saga is too unstable for my liking. And Rudy going up against the Greek freak with a literal chip on his shoulders is too much for him. I'm Albert Vartanian, and that's what's happening. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and come see us at theparlay.com.